How fast can you charge an electric car? Well, th this one is actually complicated, but today we're going to tell you how fast you can charge one at home where 95% of all charging really happens for a typical electric car owner. And the reason I said we is not because it is my pronoun, it is because you're not going to hear from him at all. You are going to hear from literally the best electric car charging expert in the world, who is also a senior editor at Inside EVs, a co-host of their weekly podcast, the host and the creator of his own YouTube channel, State of Charge, and his toughest job of them all, my personal friend, Tom Malogny. But before Tom comes in and drops the top five list of the fastest home chargers on all of us, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Lactron. Look, one of the biggest challenges with owning an EV is finding convenient and reliable ways of charging it. And it's no secret that most EV drivers like to charge at home. That's why Lactron built the powerful V-Box in-home charging station. It provides up to 48 amps of power for your J1772 EV. It adds up to 46 miles of range per hour and fully charges your EV in under six hours. Simply plug in your car at night and wake up to a full charge in the morning. Get one today using the discount code in the description of this video. All right, Tom, we are talking about fastest home chargers, but before we dive into the list, uh, we need to talk about the elephant in the room here because what is a fast charger? There is more to it than just the speed of the chargers we're going to be talking about, correct? Absolutely, Alex. And first, we are talking about like home charging equipment. There are DC fast chargers and superchargers out there that you can't buy for your house. You know, so we're talking about like at home or bit or work charging. That's number one. Number two, you have to remember the car always dictates how much power it will take in. So you have to know what the limit your car is and kind of match it to the charger that you're going to buy. Now we're going to talk today about the chargers that can deliver the most power that you could buy for your home. It doesn't mean your EV will be able to accept that much power. Some EVs can, especially some of the new EVs with the really big batteries. But uh, always make sure you know how much power your EV can take in. And we're gonna now talk about the, the chargers that can deliver the most power. And I know that the top two that we're gonna talk about first are bi-directional, which is like opens up a whole new universe. So let's start with the Ford one. Right. So the Ford Charge Station Pro, I actually have it here in my garage and I use it to charge my Ford F-150 Lightning. It's a 80 amp charger. It can deliver 19 kilowatts to the vehicle. And uh, it's bi-directional, as you said. And that's because the Lightning not only can accept power from the Charge Station Pro, but it can send power back to my house. And I have, uh, it's called the Intelligent Backup Power System. I have that installed also at the house. So during a power outage, my truck can power my house. Now the Charge Station Pro, the when it charges a vehicle, it's a different, uh, there's the, the, the charging gets done through some circuits and then the powering the house is completely separate. So you actually need two feeds going to the charge station pro, but it's a very powerful 80 amp charger and it can deliver up to 19 kilowatts to my lightning. All right. Well, the, the next one is from Lucid and it is also bi-directional, but tell us a little bit about it, but also compare the two a little bit, if you don't mind. So it's, a. Uh, uh, Basically, it's the same thing, Alex, just in a different package. It's an 80 amp charger. Uh, it's actually much more small and sleek than the Charge Station Pro. I don't have it yet, but the good news is Lucid just emailed me this week and said they're sending me one so I can do a review of it and I'll be able to really compare it side by side with the Charge Station Pro. Um, but it's bi directional, it can deliver 80 amps to uh, any electric vehicle that has a CCS uh, plug uh, and it can also accept power from the electric vehicle. The bad news is these early stage EVs that can do bi-directional power, it doesn't appear that they're, um, they can do it with different equipment, meaning my Lightning can do it with the Ford Charge Station Pro, but it won't be able to do it with the Lucid charger and vice versa. The Lucid, If I had a Lucid Air here, I couldn't use it to send power to my house. Now, 
both chargers can charge any electric vehicle. The charging side is fine, but when it takes power back from the vehicle, where we are right now, because this is all very new in the industry, it's all proprietary information and you can't have one unit work with a bunch of different EVs. Now, before we get to the other ones, uh, let's talk about charging a Tesla using these two. Can you and do you lose the speed at which you can charge a Tesla with these two? So Teslas are currently limited to accepting only 48 amps, which is 11.5 kilowatt. So for me to charge a Tesla on one of these chargers, it wouldn't charge any faster than if I charged it from the Emporia or the Tesla wall connector, because the car is gonna limit how much power it takes in. When Tesla first started selling the Model S years ago, they offered an option, it was called dual onboard chargers, and, it, and those cars accepted 80 amps. But after a few years, Tesla dropped that option and it's no longer available now. I had one of those. I think well, it was my 75D that had 80 amps, uh, yeah. I missed it a little, but okay, let's move on to the third one. And it's uh, the Clipper Creek CS100. Right, so this is like the original 80 amp charger, the Clipper Creek. This was the first one to ever come out on the market. This, this unit's been available for like 12 years, Alex, like before the Model S even came out. Clipper Creek's like old school. They're like the original company in the US that we're making electric vehicle charging equipment. So uh, it's a little bit more expensive. Both the Ford Charge Station Pro and the Lucid Charger are both cost around $1,200, $1,300. And uh, the, this Clipper Creek unit's over $2,000. Uh, it's, it's a very good unit, it's safety certified. It's been on the market for many years. It's, it's tr true and tested. It, it's very durable. It's great for outdoor installations, um, but it is pretty expensive. Uh, it's a good solid unit though. All right, well, my, my most favorite thing about the next two uh, chargers are their names. So, so let's get to the Wadzilla Uno. Yeah. So now we're getting a little bit out on the fringe. You know, there's not a lot of 80 amp chargers available today. Um, and we're talking about the Wattzilla Uno now. Wattzilla makes uh, charging equipment. They've been around for a few years and uh, it's very like industrial looking stainless steel. It's not, if you just looked at a picture of it, you'd probably say like, oh, that doesn't look like it's a polished product, but they've been around a while and they make good solid equipment. It's safety certified, Energy Star certified. It's a good solid uh, charger, but again, it's over $2,000. So it is expensive. All right. And the last but not least is what snap? Yeah, the What Snap is a brand new unit. I haven't seen one in person. I haven't used it yet, but I did put it on the list because it's an 80 amp charger and there's very few 80 amp chargers available. It's brand new. I'm probably going to try to get a hold of one at some point soon just to test it out, but uh, it is an option. But again, that one's over $2,000. I think it's $2,100. So it seems like the Ford and Lucid with their lower prices, the 1200, 1300, I think they're catering to their customers and maybe selling them like at cost. But when these third party com companies come out, Clipper Creek, Wattzilla, um, what, what, what was it? What, uh, I forget the name of it. What's the last snap. one, the, what snap. Yeah, I keep thinking what's app in my head and I know it's not called what's app. It's uh, a pawn on a pawn. Yeah, and um, I think they they need to build in a profit margin, which is why they cost $2,000. These are expensive equipment, all the contactors inside, really thick connections. That's why they cost so much more than the, the lower uh, powered chargers do. But um, you know, if you have a, an electric vehicle that can accept 80 amps, you might want to consider getting one because uh, it'll charge the car so much faster. My lightning charges so much quicker when I use the Charge Station Pro than when I use, say, the Tesla wall connector. Now, if let's say I want my car to be charged as fast as possible while I'm asleep in my garage, um, where do I find out how fast does my car can charge uh, and whether or not it can match uh, the uh, the char one of these charging stations that I either already have or thinking about buying. 
So, you know, first of all, your, your dealer should be able to, your salesperson should be able to tell you how much power the car can take in. That's not always the case. Um, the manufacturer websites always have that information. Um, you know, there's, 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 if you just do Google searches, I mean, I'm, uh, I write for Inside EVs. We go into deep detail on, on, on charging and how much power uh, electric vehicles can take in because all electric vehicles have different power levels on what they can take in. Typically, it's either uh, 32 amps, 40 amps, 48 amps, or now we have these new uh, EVs with bigger batteries. I think GM is going to lean heavily into these 80 amp onboard chargers with their new uh, products, the Silverados. The Hummer can't yet, but next year it's going to be able to accept 80 amps. The Cadillac Lyric is going to be able to accept 80 amps. So um, I expect Cadillac to come out with their own branded 80 amp charger soon. But uh, your best place is probably on the manufacturer's website, Alex. All right. Well, and I got to ask you this out of these five, which one would be Tom's p top pick? Well, I own and use the Charge Station Pro. It's one of the lowest priced ones out of all. I mean, it's seven, eight hundred dollars less than the other ones, except for the Lucid. The Lucid's comparably priced. Right now, I'd have to say Charge Station Pro I love, uh, but I'll be getting the Lucid in a week or so. So maybe we'll have to revisit this and do a head to head comparison once I've had a chance to use the Lucid charger for a while. Now, I know what you're probably saying. Hey, Alex and Tom, I like fast charging, but I would rather be saving money. Fair enough. Me and Tom did have another conversation that same day about the five best home chargers on the budget, and you can watch that video right here. I also put a link to Tom's channel in the description of this video. Must subscribe. All right, I will see you guys on the next video, and remember to stay charged.